Say it with me. Pressure makes diamonds. Pressure is something paralegals are in abundance of. We are never void of pressures. What's up everyone? Thanks so much for returning to my channel. I'm Misty Murray, paralegal and founder of Aero Consultants. And today I wanna to do a take two on tips for new paralegals entering this industry and after they've been hired for their very first law firm. Stick with me today. I've got some tips for you that will take you along your journey and get you on the path that you need to be. Okay. So you've either graduated college, a certification program, or you are just entering this industry and you've been hired for your very first law firm. Awesome, excellent, good for you. Now what? As paralegals, we're often thrust into new environments, into a law office, and just expected to know what to do. We don't have any guidance and we're just left to our own devices. Um, I, I don't know where to go, I don't know who to talk to, I don't know what cases are mine, who am I supposed to call? Is there a binder on this? What do we do when we're faced with this situation? We have no idea how this law firm is going to function. And yes, every single law firm is different. You can go on YouTube and watch day in the life videos all you want. But the fact is every single law firm is different. The people, the clients, the network, the filing, the layout, all of it, absolutely all of it is different. What you need to do is adapt really fast and get to know the procedures and in and outs of that law firm. I've got some tips for you today that will help you navigate your new law firm and help you be productive and streamline those processes in your new law firm. As cliche as this sounds, you complete your attorney, yes. You are the reason why he or she shines. Every piece of work that you do helps in that case and helps your attorney shine. So you need to realize very quickly that you are part of a very huge puzzle. You're a piece of that puzzle and the, all the pieces of the puzzle must come together in order for it to be complete. Tip number one is a two part tip, which is to show initiative and be proactive. Those things really work hand in hand. By showing initiative, you are being proactive. And by this, I mean, take a look at your calendar. Look at the week that you have and look at the week ahead of you. If you do this every single week and send out your calendar to your team members, you can discuss on Monday or Tuesday what you have for that week and what you have for the week ahead of you. For example, if I have a motion to compel that I know that I need to file within the next seven days, I'm not going to wait until day five to remind my attorney about it. I'm going to remind him seven days out from that seven days that is due to tell him, hey, this motion to compel is due. If I really want to go the extra mile, I will go ahead and draft that motion to compel. I will email it to the attorney with a reminder that, hey, this motion is compel, this motion to compel is due and it's due within the next seven days. What have I done here? I've taken the initiative to take off the attorney's plate preparing the motion to compel. I've reminded him of the need to file the motion to compel. And because I'm being proactive, I'm not waiting until the last minute to get that motion done and ready for e-filing. And I have managed my time very well because I've taken those steps of being proactive and taking the initiative, reminding my attorneys that something is due, and even taking it off his plate by preparing the motion. By being proactive and taking the initiative, it creates job security. It makes you an indispensable part of the machine that you're working for. And being indispensable, again, creates job security, and that's what you want. If you're gonna leave your firm, you better leave it on your own terms, not theirs. Tip number two is to be the know-it-all in every single one of your cases. Do you remember that movie, The Devil Wears Prada, where Andy had to remember a binder full, or I think two binders full of all of those names um, and to be ready with those names at the party? Guess what? That's you. You have to be the know-it-all for all of your cases, all of your case names, the injuries, if that's what you're dealing with, the case contacts, the parties, the attorneys, 
all of it. You've got to be familiar with all of it. And in essence, your mind has to become this steel vault that everybody goes to to get the answers for your cases and your case contacts. At any point in time, you need to be fully ready to speak intelligently about your case and the people in your case and what your case is about. So that when your attorney comes to you with some obscure question about a case that was two to three years ago with a client that has a difficult name to pronounce or understand, you're gonna be ready with that. You're gonna be ready with that response. And once again, you are creating a position where you are indispensable. You're creating that job security. Have you ever heard the phrase, a paralegal is worth their weight in gold? It's true. Ask any attorney. That statement is so true. You are worth your weight in gold. A lot. Tip number three is to be productive. And yes, there is a difference between being productive and being busy. As paralegals, we are faced with some of the most impossible tasks. We are expected to be very busy, poised, busy bees with octopus arms doing a ton of things going 100 miles per hour with unmanageable caseloads and expectations that defy laws. Yet, we do it. We go home, we go to bed, we wake up the next morning, we come back to the office and do it all over again. Gluttons for punishment? Perhaps. But what do we do? We manage our time very well. And how do we manage our time? We implement time management practices. I don't care what your practice is, but you need to implement one. Whether it's a written list or a third party application such as Asana or Tasks or Planner, regardless of what it is, you need to manage your time really well. You need to be able to do 10 different projects in one day and it be a productive day. You don't want to have 10 different projects in one day and go home thinking, crap, I didn't get anything done today. I feel completely unproductive. Nope that is going to lead you to burnout really quickly. So manage your time very well, implement a practice that proves true to manage your time very well, stick with it. Which brings me to tip four, and that is to learn time management skills. You can implement a time management system, but unless you have the skills to manage your time, your system's not gonna work for you. So how do you manage your time? Well, there's not much that you can control within an office, especially a law firm, but time management is one of them. And if you take the time to think ahead in your cases, then you are spending less time being reactive to things and spending more time being proactive to things that are helping you to manage your time. Yes, there are going to be last minute things that come up. That is inevitable. It is going to happen in a law firm. However, again, if you're spending your time being mostly reactive to situations, then you're not going to be managing your time very well. If you're thinking ahead and moving five steps ahead and saying, hey, I know I've got this thing right now, but how am I going to use it later so that I can do what I need to do now and save time from having to do it later? Awesome. Figure that out, do it, and learn time management skills. Because as I said in my last video, time is one of those unrenewable resources. It's precious, we can't get it back. So we need to manage that time very well. And yes, while we're all under an incredible amount of pressure in our law firms, just remember, pressure makes diamonds. Say it to yourself, pressure makes diamonds diamonds. And here's a bonus tip for you guys billing by the hour. If you are implementing a third party time management system like a sauna or planner, then that really helps you with your billable hours because I know a lot of paralegals are going back and taking a look at their correspondence and their folders and taking a look at their emails and that's how they're going back to capture their time and they're doing it twice a month and hurrying up and getting it to the billing department. If you've got a time management system um, like Asana or Planner, then you can actually go back and take a look at all of your completed tasks and you can create a report that will help you generate um, a, a billable time sheet so you can get it to whoever you need to get it to and they can enter your time. 
just something to think about. And just because your firm doesn't have a time management system doesn't mean that you shouldn't take the initiative to start working with one. And who knows, you could be the person that spearheads this whole thing and starts a time management solution for everybody in your firm. Which brings me to my next tip, and that is to be resourceful. Tip five. Being resourceful is an incredible thing for a law firm. You know, you can have resources such as court clerks and secretaries and paralegals from other firms and people within your building, but you really need to be resourceful. Case in point, here's an example of how I was resourceful in one of my work situations. I had a fax that had to be sent that was given to me by a partner and it had seven minutes to get to its destination. By the time I got it to the fax machine, I had five minutes left. I entered the number, put it in the fax machine, clicked the start button and nothing. The fax didn't go through, our line was dead, nothing was working. So I knew that I couldn't go back to that partner and say, hey, I know I've got four minutes to get it to the destination, but we don't have a fax machine. I don't know what to tell you. No, absolutely not. I was not gonna tell the partner that. So I walked my happy ass to the lobby area, took the elevators, went to another suite and used their fax machine. And I got it to its destination with one minute to spare. And I took that fax transmittal page, took it to the partner and said that it was done and how it was done. He didn't mind that I didn't come to him first to say that our fax machine wasn't working. He was very thankful that I just got the job done. I was resourceful, I did what I had to do, and I got the job done. So being resourceful is one of those things, again, that makes you indispensable to a firm. It creates the job security that you want. Who else is going to have the networking skills that you do? And it's also something that I talk about in this video right here and why networking is so important. Networking leads you to resources. Resources, just get the job done. I know it sounds weird, but your attorneys are going to get used to being taken care of. They're going to be used to being taken care of. They're going to be used to their clients being taken care of. They're going to be used to their work be being taken care of. They're going to be so comfortable with you and so relieved that they know that they have a paralegal who is taking the initiative, who is being proactive, who is the know-it-all in their cases, who is productive, and who is resourceful. And when all of those things come together for an attorney, that's it. You are worth your weight in gold. All the pressure led to the diamond that you have prepared, that it's you. You are getting the job done. You're indispensable. You're creating job security. Again, if you're gonna leave your firm, you're gonna leave it on your terms and not theirs. If you like this video, be sure to give me a good thumbs up and click that bell button because next week I'm gonna talk about how to manage your time. We're really gonna get into it with your day-to-day -day and your time to manage your processes and streamline things. You and me, we're going to plan your day like a pro. Do you feel disorganized? Then you are not going to want to miss next week. Be sure to click that bell button and you'll receive the notica notification for next week's episode. As always guys, thank you so much for joining me this week. Be sure to click that subscribe button and follow me on social media. Don't forget to join my Facebook Paralegal Boss Club group to uh, take part in live Q&As and some additional content that I publish on there. As always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, weekend. Mwah! Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye guys.